There are many practical purposes for knowing how to multiply numbers in your head. For example, um, let's say uh, your calculator runs out of batteries and you need to buy new batteries. Suppose this calculator needs 16 batteries that are sold individually for $14 each. Remember, you have no calculator. Alright, okay, fine, you have a smartphone. But let's set this broken too. Let's start off with 14 times 16, the problem I introduced in the introduction. For this trick, you have to notice that the ones digit adds up to 10, and the tens digit is the same. To do it, you multiply the ones digit together first, so 6 times 4 equals 24, and then you do the tens digit times 1 plus itself, so 1 times 1 plus 1 gives you 2. Let's try with another one. We have 47 times 43. The same idea since the ones digit adds up to 10, and the tens digit is the same. So you multiply the ones digit together first, and you get 7 times 3 equals 21. Then you do 4 times 4 plus 1, or 4 times 5, gives you 20. So this trick can be applied to squaring two digit numbers that end in 5, since 5 plus 5 equals 10. So here we have 65 times 65. You do the ones digit together first, so 5 times 5 gives you 25. Write that down. And then you do 6 times 7, which gives you 42. Here's another one for you to practice on. I put the answer in the description. The next type of trick will make you happy because, well, it's actually pretty simple. So this trick, you have any number times 25. So in this case, 32 times 25. What you want to do is take the number divided by 4, write that down, then you just multiply by 100, 800. That's it. Now let's say you have a number that isn't cleanly divisible by 4. You can just do the exact same thing. So 62 times 25, say. 62, you divide that by 4, in your mind you see 15.5. Then you just multiply by 100. 1550. Not too shabby.